What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another Gray Zone Warfare video. Look, the content's kind of been stale, man. That has been a little bit quiet. They released a few things, but I wanted to make a, another video kind of touching on some things that I learned over this week that you might not have. And then some of my ideas of how I want to play the game. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is cosmetics and the progression system revolving around cosmetics. So the cosmetic thing, I actually I actually watched Crash's video. Y'all should go uh, check out Crash. He's a badass content creator. Really solid dude. He touched on the interview that was given. I forgot who did it, but he looked at the English translation and how they talked about progression and cosmetics. So one thing I do like about this game, guys, is the progression system isn't going to level skills as far as like strength, when you're thinking of like Tarkov, strength, endurance, things like that, it ain't going to make you stronger or more durable, better player over time. What it will do is give you cosmetics. It's going to be, you know, things like that. It's not going to be really, you know, overpowering stuff. It's going to be just things to kind of separate yourself and show that you have progressed, which I really like. That makes it balanced. That makes it, that makes it fair. People who can play, you know, 10 hours a day, are going to be on the same playing field with you know pretty much the same playing field as someone who can play three hours a day with the exception of maybe some gear that's unlocked and certain weapons but for the most part they're not going to be any stronger faster you know can do things that you can't in the game which uh I i'm a big i'm a big fan of i think that's a good balance it, it allows people to compete you know when they do actually engage in pvp another thing i wanted to touch on was the potential roles and i've been thinking about making this video but i didn't want to dive too much into the speculation of it because we don't really know how the roles are going to kind of line up. But one thing I did see, and I think I made a video on this a few, it might've been a week ago. So this tactical device tab, there hasn't been any videos right now or that I know of that were any of the devs, any of the um, videos that they've released, they have actually clicked and seen the options for the tactical device. So here's what I'm hopeful for guys. I think at least for me, I would assume that in some degree that tactical device will be a way to distinguish roles. Just kind of think about it. Maybe like a recon role can have binoculars or a spotting scope. A medic role might have medical shears or, you know, different types of blood sets. I'm, I really like the radios that I'm seeing on a lot of the screenshots and stuff. Like maybe there's a communication um, role or something like that where you can get in touch with other members of your faction that you might not necessarily be in a squad with. Either way, I'm very curious about that tab. And if anyone has any clip or anything they can share with me about someone clicking that tactical device and us seeing the options, I, I would love to see that because that's a mystery for me. But yeah, the, the roles and as far as this open sandbox, realistic shooter, PVEVP, you're going to have to have designated roles to some degree. You might have it more loosely when you're playing with your squad or you might, uh, you might be, you know, strict milsim. There's a medic, there's a squad lead, there's recon, you know, there's a communication guy there's you know what whatever there's going to be very distinguished roles because you want to try to get a mission complete right so to me that seems exciting um, i'm for that i haven't played many games like that but i'm excited to get my hands on it uh, i think that's that's going to be pretty cool to uh, see that applied in real time in a game like this so let's touch on this tweet i found this tweet that rick posted the other day very spot on and it's not something that you would uh kind of expect when it comes to a game like this comparing it to Sea of Thieves. Those of you who have not played Sea of Thieves, it's basically an open ocean, open world, PvEVP, you know, pirate game. I've played quite a bit of it. It's very simple, very fun. There's a little story. You can get loot, get gold, get cosmetics. It's pretty fun. And the PvP is, it can be scarce at some times, but when you do run into it, it's, uh, you have decisions to make if you have a lot of loot on your boat. If you don't and you see that they have might have a lot of loot, you might chase them and try to board their boat and fight them and stuff like that, sink their ship. So I see the comparison he was talking about. I think he was actually referencing somebody else talking about it. But to me, guys, if you haven't, I mean, if you're not doing anything, go watch like, uh, um, I think Pace22 is his name. I think he's a big... Uh, Sea of Thieves streamer, um, content creator, but there, I mean, go look at like any Sea of Thieves content and kind of see how it plays out. And I, I can see the correlation actually quite clear. If Grey Zone Warfare is anything like that type of balance when it comes to the missions and PVE and then the scarcity, but yet intense PVP when you do come across it, if that, there's a good balance like that, I think that is perfect. I think that's actually, for games like these, I think that's um, that's how you should do it. You don't want to have people always being able to fight, always ruining your time. You should be able to try to be sneaky, run around with your ship or run around with your squad and get stuff done and try to fly under the radar. You should be able to do that. Sea of Thieves has a pretty, executes that pretty well, I think. So yeah, the comparison, I'm for it. Um, and I think that's spot on. So the last thing I want to touch on here is something that Mara said. I believe this was on Reddit. One of our guys in our community found this and hey guys if you haven't yet 
Check out the Discord link in my description of this video. I'm trying to build one of the biggest, if not already the biggest, raise on warfare communities. You know, we're we're all about helping each other. Everything that I'm doing with this and and Twitch and everything, we're trying to give it back to the community in some regard. I've gotten a lot of feedback on how we're trying to set up the Discord. It's very young, but we're getting a lot of support in there and we're making it for you guys. So if you haven't seen my other videos on it, go check it out. But it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I think Grey Zone Warfare kind of sets up the the perfect dynamic of, of actually launching it. So it's a passion of mine and uh, I would be honored to have you. But anyways, back to what Mara said. Like I said, one of our guys found this on in Discord. He pulled it off of Reddit. Mara said the progression, this is regarding PVE, the progression is stored on the cloud. It doesn't matter if you are playing on this server or that server. It doesn't matter if you play pve or pvevp on pve only you will not be able to injure other players but bullets will still interact with them i found that very interesting and you will not be able to loot any other player perfect that's awesome that's the only difference between pvevp and pve servers at least for early access release now the play test i don't know if they're going to have the actual pve server they might have not have gotten around to it yet i'm going to give you my opinion real quick on this and I'm, i might you know piss some people off but just understand it's my opinion guys i'm you know i tend to be an idiot sometimes the game ha is not out all right so i i have a little bit of a problem with the community kind of saying we want pve servers when they haven't played we haven't seen how often you're going to be fighting another player we haven't seen the dynamic we haven't seen how easy it might be to avoid all detection so to, to be calling and, and using the devs resources and time to be making that without even touching the game to me, I think is a little silly. Nonetheless, the devs did listen and they're going to do it. So, you know, hats off to them. But in my opinion, guys, I think, you know, when I'm looking at indie developers like this, I try to give space and I try not to give too much opinion. I know I make content, but that's, you know, that's really because I enjoy it. I don't really go in and try to talk to them, say, you guys should change this. You guys, I haven't even played, man. So that's just how I see it. And I think it's a little bit silly, but, um, Nonetheless, I'm for all, I am for PVE servers uh, if, if they want to do it. I just think it's a little bit silly that they're doing it without anybody playing it yet. Feel free to debate that but and let me know your thoughts. But yeah, that's just how I stand on it. But uh, nonetheless, I think it, it will be, you know, even if they have complete custom servers and things like that, that'll, that'll be cool. It's, it's whatever. But I think everybody needs to see kind of how the game unfolds with the original way that they designed it, which was PVEVP. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to touch on these few things. I know it's been a little bit quiet, so I thought I would try to give you a little bit of content to watch today. But yeah, hey, man, our Discord's open. Come in there and chat. We're talking everything Grey Zone Warfare. We had a pretty good stream the other night. We just letting everybody kind of meet each other and talk and give their thoughts on the game. It's been a good time, man. A lot of like-minded people, a lot of like-minded individuals in there. So we're excited for it. And we'd love to have you. You can also check out my Twitch. I've been, uh, I'm gonna start streaming again. A lot of feedback with this game on, on YouTube. So I wanna push it over to, to Twitch when I can. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching the video and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.